Hey, this is Tom Jeline from Airflow and All Season Heat Pumps. This is a short video illustrating the step-by-step -step process I went through to retrofit my old carrier air conditioner and replace it with a King Home Ultranix heat pump, which qualified for the $1,300 cold climate rebate. For this project, I hired both an electrician and a mechanical contractor and provided a King Home 4-ton heat pump and a 4-ton ADP heat pump coil. Now before any mechanical work gets started, we have to make sure that the electric service to the heat pump is sufficient. The heat pump in operation will use less power, but sometimes the same size heat pump will require a larger electrical service. This is such a case. So you can see here that I have a 40 amp circuit breaker, which matches the power requirement for the existing carrier air conditioner. As we look at the King Home heat pump submittal, this unit requires a 45 amp circuit breaker. So the electrician has to change out number one, the circuit breaker, but number two, the electrician also needs to make sure that the wire gauge to the heat pump is properly sized as well. In this case, we found out that the original electrician didn't pull the right, right gauge wire to the air conditioner. So unfortunately we shouldn't have had to replace it, but in this case we did. The electrician also installed a new disconnect switch next to the heat pump for service. Now that we have the power ready to go, we need to remove the refrigerant from the system. So in this short clip, you can see that the contractor is using his refrigerant recovery equipment to capture all the R410A refrigerant from the system. We don't want any refrigerant leaking into the atmosphere. That's a no-no. This is standard operating procedure for any air conditioning repair or replacement. Okay, now that we've removed the, the refrigerant, we can start demolition. First, we have to take out the old air conditioning coil. The existing installation has something called a cased coil, which simply means that the coil came in a box that's the same size as the furnace, and it's put right on the top. For this retrofit, we're going to cut the old coil out and replace the coil inside the casing. Sometimes it's easier to remove a cased coil and replace the whole thing, but in this case, we elected to cut it out. So you can see the cover of the coil removed and some gentle persuasion is required to extract the coil from the box. Eventually we get to the coil to slide out of the housing. Notice it's still attached the refrigerant piping. In this next scene, we have eliminated the refrigerant piping. I would recommend that all new heat pump installations get new refrigerant piping unless the sizes match perfectly and the contractor can demonstrate a pressure test without leaks. All right, we've reached an exciting part of this video. We're doing some unboxing. First, we're gonna unbox our replacement coil. Now, this coil is a little bit different than the one that's installed in the furnace because it's a heat pump coil and it's got a reversing valve so it can both manage the heating and cooling of the heat pump. Now this unit is pretty tall and we'll see how that height plays out a little bit later. And notice that it's all aluminum instead of both copper and aluminum. Next, we're taking out the heat pump. Yes, that four ton unit is pretty tall. To achieve the efficiency requirements for a cold climate heat pump, it really needs a lot of coil space and that's why it's so tall. Most homes are gonna have a two or a three ton unit and that's gonna be a single section high outdoor unit. The four and five ton units, as you can see, have two fans. Now you saw when we pulled the coil out that there was a little horizontal brace inside the unit. That's not gonna go hold up our new coil we have to build something a little more significant. Most contractors, when they come to your house uh, to do a retrofit, have to do a little bit of sheet metal work for the retrofit. So they'll bring in this little metal break and some hand tools in order to accommodate the sheet metal changes. This contractor is gonna make a little pan for the coil to sit in inside the existing casing. So it's a little bit of nitpicky work, but we want that coil to attach very securely, level, you get it. So now that we've got the pan, but the coil is a little bit taller than the coil casing. We were hoping to tip it in, but it's not gonna fit. So a little bit more sheet metal work, and with some sealing and voila, the coil's in and the unit's sealed back up. Now we're gonna set the outdoor unit. First of all, let's just remember for a heat pump, it's not a condensing unit, it's an outdoor unit. Let's get those designations correct, people. The heat pump needs to be raised up on a stand. That's because in winter, ice will form on the condenser coils. Fear not, the unit has a built-in defrost cycle. 
When the water drips off, we don't want the unit sitting in an ice bath. The contractor will lay some gravel on the ground first, then put on the pad, and then the stand. You can see that it takes a couple of tough hombres to get this installed. It's time to run a new refrigerant pipe. I didn't take any video of them running the pipe, but they're making some final connections and sweating the pipe together. First, before the dryer, which pulls any moisture out of the refrigerant lines, and then the connection to the coil. Now, controls for heat pump retrofits can be a little bit challenging. They're different every time. For the case of my house, I have a zone first zone system. So I didn't have to actually change out any thermostats, but what I did have to do is change the zone first system from an air conditioning mode to a heat pump mode. So the contractor happened to be very familiar with zone first systems. He changed a couple of boards and voila, we're back in business with the same existing room thermostats, the same existing dampers, and the same existing control box with the board changed out. Now, as fate would have it, the day after this install, I left on vacation. So I wasn't around for the first handful of days to notice it whether it was running or not. When I came back, I was out with my dogs. I couldn't really tell if the unit was running. So here I am walking up to it and lo and behold, I can barely hear it running at all. Now this King Home heat pump should comply with the dual fuel rebate from Focus on Energy, but the proof is in the pudding whether or not I receive the rebate. Because this is a retrofit and not a fully listed AHRI system, I'm responsible to write a letter to Focus on Energy on behalf of King Home explaining how I arrived at the, the conclusion that the system complies with the dual fuel rebates. Now you see a copy of the application for the rebate. And here's a copy of the letter that I wrote illustrating the closest AHRI sample for the unit and why I think it's compliant. And here's a copy of the rebate that the contractor received. Finally, here's a few recommendations for you if you're considering a heat pump retrofit. Number one, make sure your contractor performs a load calculation on your property, especially if you're going to use your heat pump at lower temperatures. Number two, make sure you inspect your existing furnace, particularly the secondary heat exchanger. There's no point in retrofitting a failing furnace with a new heat pump. Of course, your contractor should be able to help you out determine whether or not your secondary heat exchanger has failed. Three, for this dual fuel rebate, you will need to make sure that your existing furnace has an electronically commutated EC motor. Otherwise, you won't comply with the rebate requirements. Number four, make sure you maximize the efficiency of the coil in order to comply with the rebate requirements. You can't put a teeny little evaporator, I'm sorry, heat pump coil over your furnace and expect the unit to perform similar to catalog DNA. And finally, five, if you're using a heat pump other than King Home, make sure you look at the cold climate rebate requirements. Very few heat pumps comply with this standard, and that'll cut your rebate significantly. Thanks so much for checking out this video and audio for the dual fuel heat pump retrofit by King Home, care of airflow and all season heat pump.